Two most common mistakes goalkeepers make when doing a block save. Dropping their knee to the ground and leaning forward over the ball. In this video, we are going to go over these two mistakes and why they are so important in properly executing a block save. Don't forget, please share, like, and subscribe. Let's get going. One, two, three, four. Okay, so here we're gonna go in this video where the trainer is gonna go over basically the technique for the goalkeeper. And I urge you guys to watch the entire video for all the coaching points. So right now the goalkeeping coach is basically uh, showing the goalkeeper uh, and then one of the coaching points is to not drop the knee to the ground. And the reason behind it is because if a high quality player sees the goalkeeper go down, all he's gonna do is just roll over to one side or the other. Now the goalkeeper is gonna have a tough time and it's gonna take longer to get off that knee and adjust to the attacker. Where if they go down without dropping the knee, basically quickly can get up and adjust to the attacker's move. So very important, do not drop the knee to the ground. That's a very important coaching point and being also able to keep a balance. Because when you do drop your knee to the ground, it's easier to balance than if you don't. So number one, do not drop your knee down to the ground. This way, if an attacker is trying to make a move on you, you could quickly adjust. Second is your frame, your body shape. As you can see, the goalkeeper coach here is adjusting the goalkeeper, keeping that frame locked and keeping your body straight up. Arms to the side and try to take as much space away from the attacker's view. A lot of goalkeepers will go down and lean forward over the ball and it's very easy for the attacker, for a quality attacker to just flip the ball over them. So you want to lock your frame, keep your body shape, your upper body shape as rigid as possible and take away as much of the goal, um, excuse me, as much of the attacker's view to the goal as possible. Your hands are always out as a goalkeeper. This way, if an attacker tries to make a little chip shot where you're trying to flip the ball over to the right or to the left, now you can use your hands to move up just like a basketball player to take away and make the save. And of course, your lower body is basically protecting the ball from the attacker doing it past your right, the back foot, the heel, or the front. So once again, it's very important to make sure that that uh, frame is locked. Don't lean forward, make yourself big. You're basically sacrificing your body as a, as a goalkeeper. The key point here is not for the goalkeeper to um, secure the ball, hold on to the ball. The key point here is to deflect the ball, protect the ball from going the back of the, of the goal. So don't drop your knee. Keep your frame and have balance. The other issue is the angle. How are you approaching where the attacker and the ball? You have to have a proper angle as you approach basically the attacker and, and the ball. As you can see, the goalkeeper here is struggling to approach the ball and keep balance. Very important for these key elements to be taught at a young age because the younger you master the skill, the easier it becomes as we get older because younger players are acquiring balance skills, motoring skills, and all that good stuff. The other thing is keep your eye on the attacker and the ball. Don't just come out. You got to keep your eye on the ball as well as the attacker, which way they're approaching, their feet, which foot are they using to manipulate the ball. Uh, also try to keep your eyes, if possible, on the eyes of the attacker, okay? That's also imp uh, very important as well. Lastly, it's, you know, you gotta be explosive. As, as, as you make the decision to come out, and it's a split second decision, which uh, it's very difficult in soccer, but in futsal even more difficult because it's much more quicker. 
So once as a goalkeeper you make that decision to come out, you got to be explosive. You got to come out quickly and put all these elements together. Your balance, your frame, not dropping your knee. Because if you take your sweet old time coming out, well, guess what? The attacker is just going to go right around. So as soon as you make that decision, and again, these are split-second decisions. You're trying to get as much space as closer to the attacker and take away as much of the goal as possible. Um, again, if you are coming at him or her, you must have a sense of angle. Which angle? Which foot is the attacker? That's what the coach is demonstrating here. Is he moving with his left foot or his right foot? Which way is he approaching uh, the ball? Chances are the way you can read these things, you can maximize your chances of making that save. Again, it's a split second decision. You gotta be able to make all these decisions very quickly. Practicing on a futsal environment, which is much more quicker. Playing in a futsal environment, a game, it sharpens a goalkeeper's skills as opposed to an outdoor game where there's more space and more time to make those decisions in comparison to futsal, okay? So here it is once again. The goalkeeper comes out and again is struggling with putting everything together. Balance, angle, frame, not dropping her knee. All these things take time to develop. It's not just one session. So once again, in my opinion, that should be something that's taught and repetitions over and over and over throughout different training sessions. Again, you guys can see the video. This is uh, uh, this is something that she's being taught, you know, for the first time, dropping her knee, losing balance, uh, not, not keeping her frame locked, but with repetition, she's only gonna get better at these things. Remember, the field players are much more advanced they're more skillful and as the levels are higher so is the skill level of the player once again the difference between soccer and futsal is that it's much faster I this video should be pretty good evidence that what we're talking about here is a hundred percent true she's struggling with the balance please watch as you know She's getting more reps. Again, top level soccer goalkeepers utilize these techniques. So if you YouTube uh, any professional, you know, futsal goalkeeping training, you'll see K saves, as we call it, or block saves, half splits, full splits, based on a futsal environment. The old way of training and the old way of goalkeeping is no more. Goalkeepers just don't come out and slide all over the place to make those saves. A lot of it is based on futsal techniques. Again, this is not for a goalkeeper to secure the ball. This is used in an instance where a goalkeeper is coming out very close to the goal, uh, six yard box maybe, where he or she are forced to make that quick decision to come out and basically deflect the ball, tell the pair the ball. You're not looking to secure the ball, but as you can again, I repeat these things because they're very, very important. Balance, frame, not dropping the knee, 